She looks like like a substitute teacher that would probably fuck you, right? <laughs> Next comic coming to the stage is very funny. Give it up for Dee Bowden! Stand up live, how we doing tonight? <laughs> no, I look like a, a leprechaun and a ghetto ninja right now, don't I? I'm a fucking Mortal Kombat figure. My name would be Nigga Shinobi or some shit. <laughs> Finish him! Smack your ass and hit you with a dime bag of weed. Fuck that nigga. Fatality, <laughs> huh? Alright, let me take this shit off. I can't breathe. Come on. <laughs> a good time of the year. I got on my uh, GY double B uh, attire. That's that uh, give me your bag bitch attire. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Hoodie season, man. Hoodie season. This, this is a good time for men in relationships and men that's not in relationships. I had a situation I went to put on some gray sweatpants. Go out. What's the gray sweatpants? Y'all been for real about that shit, ain't y'all? Man, I must have got up, put on some gray shorts. I'm like, all right, baby, I see you. I'm on my way to work. She said, oh, she rolled over three in the morning. Oh, uh, what the fuck you got on? I'm like, she had some shorts. I was. You ain't leaving out here with that shit on. What the fuck you want me to put on? Put them blue ones on. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Shit, you don't want the problem in no household, man. But man, get a round of applause. Have y'all ever been in an unawkward position where men like to spark a conversation with you in the bathroom? Y'all ain't been, ain't no, no man has had another man trying to spark a conversation with him in the bathroom? Yeah, that's the awkwardest shit. I don't know why. Do they feel like that's mutual grounds because we both got our dicks out or something? <laughs> I'm for real, like I went to the movie theater one time and I'm in the movie theater, I'm in the bathroom, the dudes, and he come in there, he's like, Hey, uh, how's the night going? It's good. Yeah, man, that was a good one with the movie, wasn't it? Listen, man, I'm in here trying to piss you over there, titty talk, but I don't know what the fuck you titty talk for, five, five, nigga, I ain't got no way to look at that shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. But uh, I'm originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I've been here two years, man. I like it out here too. Yeah, from the Hill Mill, man. It's crazy living out here in Phoenix, man. This was a, a I don't think a lot of people are geographically ignorant. Cause when you, like I tell people, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I didn't know they had black people in Wisconsin. What the fuck? Yeah, I just started watching the 70s show, and uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't, didn't even know about black people more. Like, yeah, I'm a black Amish thug, motherfucker. I'll sell your bag of weed and be built to a table set, sit in the phone, motherfucker. Yeah, I got black people in this shit. Give you a little information. We are 40 minutes from Chicago. That helps you out, okay? So, yeah, there's a lot of black people in Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah, get it together. Uh, it's good to be back on stage, man. It really is. But I, I, I tell you, man, this corona shit and had a lot of people captivated, doing a lot of stupid shit. Uh, we have a lot of people ain't paying attention about a lot of things going on, like the Black Lives Matter movement and politics and all that shit. That shit real. I was using the Black Lives Matter shit for all type of shit. Like last week, I was five minutes late from work. I'm flying down north, trying to get to work. Three in the morning, flying like a motherfucker. Cop pulled me over. I was like, oh shit. Pulled me right over. He said, ah, oh, sir, you know why I'm stopping you? I said, because I'm a black man. 